It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Okay, everybody. We got a wild one today. I don't even know if I can do this because I don't draw this guy too often, but I'm going to give it a shot. This was a this was a recent request and um, it's it's such an a different one for me that I I bumped it up to the uh, to the head of the queue just to uh, just to see how this would go. And this is Sonic the Hedgehog, everybody. Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I only have, believe it or not, I have a, a very peripheral history with, uh, with Sonic. Because for many, many years, if you guys are Sonic fans, you're probably aware of this. But for many, many years, Sonic uh, had his own very, very popular comic book uh, published by Archie Comics. Um, now the, the Sonic comic book is what we call a licensed comic book. That means that Sonic, of course, is owned by somebody else. Sonic is owned by Sega Genesis, or Sega, the Sega company. Um, whereas the Archie characters themselves, they are not. They are, they are owned entirely by the Archie company. So... Uh, what that means is, whereas Archie, the company, can do whatever it wants with the Archie characters, they are sort of partners with Sega uh, when it comes to the comic books. And Sega also gets a say in everything that happens in the comic books. Um, now, I was not involved with the comics at all uh, when when uh, they were being produced at Archie. And they, they were produced at Archie for a long, long time. I, I think that went on for, it must have been over 20 years. Um, it was certainly done the entire time that I was there at Archie. I am pretty sure they were already doing them when I started with Archie in 94. Um, now, you know, Sonic is pretty different from things that I normally draw, even even Archie and, and other characters. So as usual, what I what I do here is I, I take a look at the character and off camera here I have uh, I have a, I Googled a lot of Sonic here. And what I do is I, I mentally break the character down into into basic shapes. And Sonic is really all head here. He he has this giant head. He has kind of a a fairly small body, and then um, uh, he has pretty long arms and legs. And I want to stretch out this leg going this way, which means I'm going to pull back with the other leg because I also want his arm popping forward. And I'm going to push the foreshortening on the arm so that it really seems like it's coming forward. Um, and in a lot of these shots that I'm looking at, Sonic is always pointing forward, which I don't know if that's something that he does, um, but he's doing it a lot, so I'm gonna have him do that here too. So I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna really push that finger forward. The other fingers are curling around onto the hand. The body of the hand reaches back, and then he's got these big folds to his gloves. And then he has fairly thin arms that go back up into the body and like I said he's all head so I'm not I'm not very familiar with the Sonic character myself although I actually did when I was younger I did play uh, the video games a couple of times um, and I, I when I say the video games I'm talking about probably his first couple um, in fact, those may have been, I'm not a big video game guy. Uh, the the Sonic uh, games may have been the last real video games that I, that I played. Um, so, so please be forgiving with my Sonic here because he's not a character I know a whole lot about. So, uh, as I was saying, they were... They were 
uh, Sonic was was published at Archie, and I remember at the at the early Sonic comics looking very different from what they would become. And the the Sonic fans are out there probably aware of of this, but um, my perception was that the books were were really aimed at kids early on. Uh, it was really a kind of a very, very much a kiddie book. Um, and I, I in, in all honesty, because I wasn't involved with it, um, I just didn't pay attention to it. it. It just was one of those other projects that Archie did. Um, around the same time, Archie also had a, a pretty big hit with uh, their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Turtles comic, um, which I think may have been the only comic, at least at the time, that was really based on the Turtles cartoon. Um, the Turtles had their own regular book, but I believe that was more straightforward action, whereas the Archie title was really the only one that tied into the cartoon, where the, the Turtles wore the different colored masks and, and, um, you know, it was done more humorously and tongue in cheek. Um, so, so Archie was having some some success with with these licensed comics, um, and Sonic. Sonic would would eventually, I, and I don't know when this happened because it happened, you know, beneath my notice. Uh, one day I just one day I woke up and and Sonic was all of a sudden a giant hit with this. Uh, Really, really um, loyal, devoted, almost Star Trek-like following. Um, people really get caught up in, in the mythology of Sonic, uh, which is great. So it's, it's great to see. It's great when people enjoy this stuff. Um, now, I did have a, a passing brush with Sonic in that at one point, I was asked to audition for the uh, for the book, yes, I did. I did. I was asked to try out for Sonic, which I um, I was interested in doing, largely because, well, the the Sonic book paid better than the Archie books did. There there was a higher page rate over in the Sonic department than there was in in mainstream Archie, so that got my interest up. So I, I drew a few pages. Um, now the the this was around the time when Sonic was still kind of uh, kiddish. Um, I from what I saw, it had a bit of a manga influence. So that's what I I kind of used in my own pages that I did. So I drew a few pages. I think about three maybe, and. Um, in fact, I was looking for those pages uh, before filming. Before filming this video, I thought they'd make a nice addition to the to the video. I thought you guys would like to see them. Uh, I couldn't find them though, so it is possible because uh, because I'll sell anything, including my soul. Uh, it is possible that I may have sold those pages somewhere along the line. Uh, maybe one of my my ardent admirers out there. Uh, is, is screaming at this video. Yes, I sold them. You, you, I, you, you sold them to me. I have your pages, um, but I, I couldn't find them. So it's it's very possible that I parted with them somewhere along the way. Um, <clears throat> so I tried out for them. I I did about three pages, like I said, uh, and of course, uh, again, this being a licensed comic, uh, Sega has a say. You know, Sega. Uh, has to approve of the artist working on the uh, on the stuff. So um, my pages were submitted, and I guess Sega did not care for me because I I never I never got any work out of it. So I never got to draw any more Sonic. So that was that was it for me, and uh, eh, it didn't it didn't truly break my heart too much uh, because at the time I was getting a lot of work. Uh, just drawing the regular Archie stuff. So, uh, and honestly, that probably would have been easier. It may not have paid as well, but it would have been easier. Um, 
Plus two, they had a they had a bunch of guys working on the Sonic book, so it's not like I would have been the the one guy to to do the whole thing. Um. So that that was it. But it it, it was a job. So and as always, I take every job I can grab. Um. So that was it. That was the extent of my Sonicking. Um. Now, as I said, Sonic was really, really popular. And very often around this time, um, uh, during its popularity, I'd be doing conventions, I'd be appearing at, at Archie panels uh, or at the Archie uh, booth or table at different conventions. And uh, I'd always get fans coming up to me and they'd say uh, very excitedly, do you draw Sonic? To which I would always have to say um, no. And uh, then that would be met with a very disappointed, oh, uh, and then they'd walk away. So um, I got a lot of that during the, uh, uh, during the, the, the Sonic boom. And uh, that was, that was more funny than anything else. Just that repeated disappointment. Uh, and very often when we would, um, around this time too, uh, and this was when, you know, the things at Archie were, were fairly quiet. Uh, if we did uh, panels at conventions, very, very often the questions would be, uh, would come up about Sonic, uh, which um, I couldn't answer. Um, so that, that was, that, you know, a lot for, for a while, it just seemed like Archie was more known for Sonic than it was for, uh, for, for the Archie stuff itself. Um, and I, I, I know, at least uh, I was told at the time that the Sonic book was their best selling, um, their best selling of the regular comics. Um, the best selling item product was, uh, was probably the digest. Because I know that was a that was the company's financial backbone for many years. So I'm doing his big giant feet. So how's my Sonic looking? Is he looking okay? He's almost done. He just got a, he's got this big giant belt or uh, buckle on his shoe. And then he's got the big giant front section and he's got like a sole on the shoe so i'm gonna blow that up and uh i'm gonna have his other hand just kind of poking out here from the side so this is uh, and, and I do get asked to draw Sonic every now and then, but very, very rarely, very, very rarely, um, you know, at conventions, at free comic book day, sometimes I get asked for a Sonic, um, it always takes me back a little, uh, takes me a back a little because, uh, because I draw so, so few Sonic, I, I always feel, uh, I'm somewhat unprepared, but. Um, as I always tell people, everything that you draw is, is the same. It's very interrelated. You shouldn't, uh, anytime you're drawing, you set out to draw something. Don't, don't be intimidated by it because all drawing is the same. All drawing is related. So how's, uh, how's my Sonic looking? Uh, should I go back and, and laugh at Sega's face? Um, should I tell them they missed out uh incidentally if, if if you're if you're a follower of a, a regular follower of sonic you know that the archie no longer publishes it and um a couple of years ago a few years ago now uh i believe sega moved to um over to idw i believe they they produced the sonic comic now and uh, I, I don't know how it's going. I, I don't know if they kept up the old continuity. I'm not sure. So maybe if you know, uh, let us know in the comments below. All right. So there is Sonic. What do you think? Did I do okay? 
did I did I shame Sonic? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you've got any uh, any suggestions, ideas for future videos, let me know that too in the comments below. So that's that's it for this guy. If you like this, and I hope you did, please click like. Please subscribe. We're heading, we're spiraling now to our 900, our big 900. We just had the big 800 giveaway. Wait till we get to 900. I've got something special in mind. Um, so please uh, hang in there. Stay tuned to the channel. Keep following, keep liking, keep subscribing. And as always, keep drawing. I'll see you next time, everybody. See you next time, everybody. Keep drawing.